years ago, I sat down on my computer to make a video about my favorite JPEG of all time, this ancient viral photo of something called Microsoft Bimbos. This project, when I started working on it, was supposed to be, believe it or not, short. A short video. Just a quick explanation of the underlying Japanese pun in the hopes to correct this wildly misunderstood image's reputation as a crappy off-brand. But while working on this video, I kept digging deeper and deeper. Once the pun was figured out, I wanted to know what this place was, whether it really existed, and finally, where exactly the building could be found. This series of questions led me down a lengthy serpentine rabbit hole, one that culminated in me coming across a website from 2001 managed by a blogger and train otaku named Adachi, who happened to snap a photo of the building, one from an angle I'd never seen before, and helpfully included the name of the town it was located in. Now, me being me, my impulse normally would have been to fly to Japan and go try to find the site of Microsoft Bimbos in person. Side note, do I wish sometimes that I'd picked a less expensive inside joke to build my whole channel around? Yes. Yes, sometimes I really do. But whether or not I wanted to make the trip turned out to be a moot point. Because when I made this video, it was at the height of the COVID travel lockdowns, and Japan's restrictions were among the strictest in the world, meaning there was no way for me to actually go there in person. What I wound up doing instead was visiting Koaigimachi in virtual reality and wandering around the streets for like an hour until this happened. <laughs> Found it in VR, that's so awesome. And man, watching that clip still makes me so happy. It was one of the most triumphant feelings I've ever had ever in making a video and I wouldn't trade that VR experience for the world. But. Recently, like surprisingly recently, Japan finally lifted their long in place restrictions on outside tourism. And my first thought, of course, was, I kinda gotta go to Microsoft Bimbos now, right? In fact, when you guys found out I was traveling to Japan again, I casually floated the question of what videos you'd like to see from me there, suspecting that you'd be thinking the same thing I was. That turned out to be true. So a few months ago, I began making plans to make this happen for real. I was doing it. I was, at long last, going to make the pilgrimage to the site where Microsoft Bimbos once stood to pay my respects in person. I badly wanted this to happen. You guys wanted this to happen. And at this point, I was out of options and desperate for some sort of resolution. So I booked a ticket and got on a flight to Tokyo in search of Microsoft Bimbos. Enjoy. Before we continue, I just want to say there's no sponsor on today's video, so in lieu of that, I'm going to tell you a really quick story that I promise is connected to the Microsoft Bimbo stuff. So back in the early 2000s, there was this phenomenon on the internet called OS Tons. Sometime around 2003, there was this poster on the Japanese image board 2chan, who was inspired by the notoriously glitchy Windows Me operating system, and created a ditzy anime girl that he called Me Tan. From there, tons more OS Tons started popping up all over the internet, some for other operating systems, but also some for things like web browsers, like Firefox, viruses, basically all sorts of computer related things started getting these fan-made mascots called OS Tons. I've always been fascinated by this, and about a year ago I had an idea. What would a Microsoft Bimbo's Ton look like? So last year I reached out to one of my favorite Japanese illustrators on the planet, Nyamofe, and asked him whether we could collaborate on designing a Bimbo's Ton character. Nyamofe said yes, and the result was this. I seriously could not be happier with how this turned out. I've been so stoked on this design for so long and have been itching to share with you guys. So for this video's merch drop, we've got the Bimbo's Ton poster, these two shirts, and then for the vintage poster series, we've got this design by Nico Ito, an illustrator I really love who's worked with clients like Nike Japan, Gucci. She's, she is way overqualified for YouTuber merch. But she made this incredible design inspired by my Mission in Snowdriftland video that is also now available on the merch shop. Last but not least, there's one other limited edition item related to Microsoft Bimbos, but I'll save that for the end of the video because it's got spoilers, kind of. I don't know. All right, enough of that. Time to get back to the video. Wait a minute. <laughs> 
No, dude. I <laughs> found it. The, yeah, the windows match up perfectly. The thing that, that I was freaking out about actually was the awning there, which is exactly the same. No way. No way. No way. Oh my god, I want to go in the parking lot so bad. So bad. So bad. I'm, I'm currently in Tokyo in the neighborhood of Koenji and I'm about to embark on the, I think, two and a half hour journey to where Michael Soft Bimbo's once stood. Mostly I'm just excited to go there and pay my respects and also just to see what it looks like now. What has it become since, uh, since those Google Street View photos were taken? I just want to be there, you know? I want to set foot in that parking lot that I couldn't step into in Google Street View. I want to get just a little bit closer. So we'll see what happens. that's pretty close to Microsoft Bimbo. It's like a, like a 19, 20 minute walk from that station, which is awfully convenient. Man, look at this. It's pretty. Man, I can't stop filming these trains. <laughs> I feel like a dachi right now. Editor's note, Adachi is the 52-year-old man who ran the website that helped Nick discover the location of Microsoft Bimbos. Adachi is a train otaku and has a YouTube channel featuring hundreds and hundreds of videos of Japanese trains. Adachi, bro, I just want to say I get it. These trains are sick. I got that, I got that dog in me too, it turns out. like that so they can just turn around and change directions hopefully i can get that on camera at some point but the way that at the end of the line all the chairs like every single individual chair 180s it's it's really cool <laughs> I like that little splash animation when you press the button.
been to this part of Japan before, and yeah, it's starting to feel a little more like suburban, quiet, like the, the town where, where Michael saw Bimbo's before. This bottle cap art is pretty, pretty new to me. I've never seen anything like this. The Gunma Esports Union, I'm about to join, bro. I don't really recognize anything yet. Like no landmarks have come out of me, but also this is not an area I ever went to in Google Earth VR. Like over there's the, you can see the station that I just came out of. And I never, I never had any reason to come this way when I was looking for Michael Sub Bimbos because I was strictly in Kawaii Machi, like right on one edge of it. And I don't think Kawaii Machi has its own station, uh, but it's adjacent to this one. So uh, yeah, this is a new place for me for now, but I'm gonna keep walking until it's not. <laughs> All Japan high school esports. Yo. I'm bad at all three of these games. I don't think I could pass as a Japanese high school student. So my my dream of joining a good esports league might be might have just crashed and burned. My plan was just to get here as quickly as possible while the sun was still up, because the sun's been setting at like 4.30 p.m. here, uh, which I succeeded at. It's like, what, 1.45? I got plenty of time. Um, so I'm gonna go eat for the first time today, maybe find a coin locker to throw my backpack and laptop in, uh, and then make the track. Oh, you can see exactly what happened. That's a mage. Oh. Press some big ass heads of lettuce. This feels a little familiar to me. If I'm if I'm being honest. I remember, <laughs> I remember being in Street View going a, like along a much smaller river like this one. But this was a quite a journey to go see a uh, largely empty, <laughs> or I mean, like, that's how it looked on Google Maps. I guess I don't really know. Maybe someone moved in. All right, it's starting to feel a little bit more familiar. I swear I remember seeing Tanaka Dental Clinic. I want to get hit by a rectangle shaped car so bad. See, in America, you get hit by that, you roll right over. I want it to feel like a wall. She's really, the branding is thorough. It is not a half-hearted job. And they look, they got all the licensing sorted too. It's not a knockoff. This is officially licensed Sanrio <laughs> storage. <laughs> That looks a little familiar. <laughs> this is so weird. I know exactly where I am right now. <laughs> I know exactly where I am relative to Microsoft Bimbo's too. I just, I did so much walking in circles when I initially tried to find this place <laughs> that I saw this structure like a billion times. I don't remember this though. TCG shop. Yo, I might have to buy some fucking magic cards. All right, this place is I've been going back and forth on whether or not this is trading cards. All right, here's the, uh, the little arcade with, that had the Chunism advertisement. A surprisingly large arcade. Ooh, they got Chunism over there. When I found that, I did not realize how close it was. I didn't realize Microsoft Bimbos was just behind me, like a few feet behind me initially. 
Let's see what they're advertising now. It's still here. This is a low resolution ad. They've got fighting games, racing games, crane games, slots, Pac-Man. <laughs> Uh, the game where it's, yeah. maybe I head into the official Microsoft Bimbo's arcade. This is hands down the emptiest arcade I've ever found in Japan. It's what I get for spending too much time in Tokyo, but this is like, there is almost no one in here. They got Hatsuhane Miku. Oh Lord have mercy, Hatsuhane Miku, let's go. <laughs> I should win a Miku. I just would be, I would bring it all together. Full circle. Ooh, there go Bowser. There goes Bowser the dragon. I don't remember exactly how far this direction I have to go. The big moment is impending and it's like kind of windy. I'm gonna switch to, I'm gonna put on a lavalier mic as a backup just to be safe. I just feel like we're getting close and I wanna have a backup for the audio. Uh <laughs> Man, I said I feel like we're getting close, and then I, <laughs> I was like right there for like four minutes setting my mic up because I was like, I don't know, I feel like it can't be far. And then like as I was looking at camera and saying that, I <laughs> came out from behind this wall. Yo. Let me switch to the, all right, let me switch to the good camera. If you use your imagination, just a big Microsoft Bimbo sign right there. All right, so one thing that I really wanted to do in the original video that I couldn't do because I was tied to these like specific Google Street View points was I really wanted to set foot in the parking lot and get another better view of it in VR. But now I can do that, because I'm actually here. It's better than this. What's better, better than, than this? this? Guys being dudes. <laughs> Touching Michael Subbimbos right now. I don't know if y'all know about Microsoft bimbos. This bad boy could fit so... <laughs> Sorry. This... It's so funny too, because this building used to not mean anything to me by itself. It was only in the context of like looking for and... Oh, I'm sorry to those people in the car. They must be so confused. Like the building it was mounted to and looking for these windows and stuff that I even knew that it was it. But now like this building means a lot to me without the sign because of the whole uh, journey I went on <laughs> to finding it. So the question is, how climbable is this? Also like, do you think there's a single remnant, like one small thing that has stayed the same? Huh. I remember seeing on Google that this is like a cram school now. Oh wow, I guess it looks like the whole upstairs is part of the cram school now. Another thing I'm really interested in is at 6.30 p.m., or I guess it's 6 p.m., there is a izakaya in the basement floor of Microsoft Bimbos that I really want to check out, you know? I would love to eat a meal in Microsoft Bimbos. I just had a really stupid feeling moment. I was looking... <laughs> I was looking at I was I was looking at Google Maps and I guess I was just savoring that I'm finally at Microsoft Bimbos. Like 
after a lot of waiting, I've waited to see this, to see my blue dot next to this red pin for a long time. But I was just like zooming in, like checking out the izakaya, and I was like, oh nice, it, uh, it's got really good reviews. Like 4.3 stars in Japan is pretty high uh, for an izakaya. Um, it's called Sononi. Um. Anyways, it's a low-key izakaya with open and private dining space running through Japanese fair, beer, and spirits. Cool. Um, but I decided to check the reviews. Closest restaurant to the former Microsoft Bimbo site. That deserves five stars for me. I'm gonna eat here one day right where Microsoft Bimbo's used to be. And then I got to this. This is the one that made me be like, okay. In before Nick visits this place and eats the food IRL. Long live Microsoft Bimbo's. They read me like a damn book. Read me like an absolute book. In case there are chat this is wait, this is a comment in Japanese. But from Ya Boy Squishy, who probably used Google Translate, but I guess no, it's possible he didn't. In case there are Japanese people who are confused by Microsoft Bimbo's, this building had a cheap computer parts store called Microsoft Bimbo's around 2002. It became a meme of unbranded content. I haven't been there yet, but please come visit us someday. It looks like a nice place and I would like to play tribute to the legendary image. I'm using Google Translate because my Japanese is still improving. So I apologize if the translation doesn't work. Nice. It looks beautiful at sunset, are you kidding me? Microsoft Bimbo's, I guess you would go in that door, up the stairs, and to the left, and then maybe to the right. I guess I'm not, I don't really know for sure. I see, where's the Microsoft Bimbo's? Hey, you guys know what that is? You know, it used to be here, but isn't anymore is Michael's Love Bimbo's. And now I'm here. <laughs> I'm about to uh, have dinner <laughs> at an izakaya inside this bad boy. Wow, Michael's Love Bimbo's by Moonlight. <laughs> so I wonder if this the guy who runs this izakaya is confused by like the Google reviews he's been getting and stuff. I'll see if I can communicate with him about it and I'll let you know what happens. This sticker is... We do... In this house, we do real. We do really loud. We do family, we do love, we do mistakes, we do I'm sorry, we do fun, hugs. It's like, it's not even... It's correct English, it's just like the type of shit they would have at Target on a pillow. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Uh, a lemon sour? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Japanese? Uh, 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 lemon sour? Lemon sour. Okay. Hi. Okay. Okay. Lemon. <laughs> lemon. Oh, okay. Lemon. I see, I see. It's a Mekur's Maku situation. <laughs> The people in the <laughs> Microsoft Bimbo's Izakaya are wonderful. Just for the record, I've had an amazing time <laughs> hanging out in there. Uh, I forgot my wallet at this like manga cafe that I think I'm honestly probably gonna end up sleeping in. Something to note about Koigi Machi is I didn't see a single other foreigner the whole time I was there. It was the most purely Japanese place in Japan I've ever been. And that extends to this izakaya. There was one other patron in there and the woman behind the bar. And most of our communication was done through them pulling out Google Translate on their phone and translating questions for me in English about what I was doing there. Uh, Los Angeles. Los Angeles? 
Los Angeles. Los Angeles. In California. California. Hi. Yeah. Did you take a picture in the parking lot? Hi. And oh, I'm sorry to those people in the car. They must be so confused. Hi, me. What? Saw, saw. You saw? Did <laughs> 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 you in the car? Oh my god, my god. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So I, I don't have this on video, but I explained what I was doing there, what the significance of this building to me was. She confirmed that uh, they had seen the <laughs> Google Maps reviews they had gotten that they were kind of mystified by. She showed the Google Map reviews on her phone to the guy who ran the place in the back and he confirmed to me visually that he was aware of the whole Microsoft Bimbos thing. But I, I think this place came after Microsoft Bimbos. But really the highlight for me of this experience is probably the guy sitting next to me who spoke a little bit of English, bought me a drink. Really? Wow. I got so. Uh, okay. And proceeded to only talk to me about Star Wars. And he had like BB-8 on his bag. I think he was like a Star Wars fan. So he kind of, we had a very limited conversation about Star Wars. Hey, episode one, uh, Natsukashi. I, I like his Skywalker. Hmm. I like his Skywalker. Oh, no. Kakoi. Luke, Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. Yeah. So, so. Somebody is uh, uh, sub samurai. Oh, samurai. Uh, hi. Uh, George, uh, George Lucas. Hi. Jedi are Jedi are samurai. George Lucas, the Star Wars creator, loves Akira Kurosawa. Hi. Hi. He's a Kurosawa lover. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm pretty drunk. <laughs> I got real. <laughs> I got medium. I got medium drunk inside Microsoft Bimbos. And now it's 11:21 uh, p.m., uh, which means I've got 39 minutes left before. Ye old Pac-Man arcade <laughs> closes. So I'm gonna fulfill a lifelong dream of mine. Maybe that's overstating it. But <laughs> I'm going to play Tune Them inside the place that in VR I saw they had Tune Them and got excited. And then I'm probably gonna honestly sleep in this manga cafe that, <laughs> that I've been crashing in. Last night I went to the Isakaya, got kind of drunk inside Microsoft Bimbos. Last night I slept in this manga cafe, in like a little room. So I've been basking in the energy of Microsoft Bimbos for nearly 24 hours. And let me tell you, the restorative effects. This is really my, what's that black cube they, that, <laughs> that they, you go to? This, I made my pilgrimage, but it's a white cube. There should be an emoji for this one, is what I'm saying. Spiral taping. All right, on, on further research, I've learned that a little Christmas guy is in fact not seasonal. It's a car dealership. Uh, and then if you look over on your <laughs> Right, you'll see this building that I thought was Microsoft Bimbos, but wasn't. 
the one that I stared at, I guess, well, embarrassingly right under my nose was the real thing. Is it the dog? The end of my journey with Microsoft Bimbos. I'm gonna have lunch before I depart. I looked at a bunch of reviews and it turns out the best reviewed food place in this whole area is actually Steak and Hamburg, just catty corner to Microsoft Bimbos. So I didn't really, this wasn't my plan, but I'm completing my collection of every business adjacent to Microsoft Bimbos. exactly where I was standing <laughs> when I found it in VR. This fence, I had the screenshots on my arm. I've been trying to put my finger on why this feels so much like a VR chat map to me. And it's because <laughs> this looping, like, royalty free background music. All right, who's ready for a room tour? That's where I slept last night. There's something about living, <laughs> even just for 24 hours, in a manga cafe that's like really just living on the just the edge of society. You know, it just is. You're barely alive. You're barely holding it together. It's a insane way to live. It's also like 30 bucks a night. <laughs> And if you find one that's right next to somewhere you really want to explore, like Microsoft Bimbos, I just don't think there's a better deal in town. This is what I imagine going to prison in Norway would be like, you know? Just like, there's some fun activities, there's a video game controller, I think there's like a VR headset that I, I couldn't figure out how to get it to work. This computer has a, has a GTX 1080 in it, so I was able to play Receiver 2 on it. I walked into this place being like, I'll kill a couple hours uh, before the Isakaya opens, and then I'll go stay in a, like a capsule hotel near the station. And then I wound up just staying here for 24 hours, and it was kind of a novel experience. If you ever wanted a LARP as a J Japanese man going through a divorce whose wife kicked him out, I, you can't do much better than this. If you have like one night during your trip to Japan where like you're getting, you're switching Airbnbs and the Airbnb you want isn't available for like the one overlapping night, but it's available for like the whole week prior, which was kind of my situation a few times on this trip. Uh, maybe jump through the hoops and join a manga cafe, dude. Recommended. <coughs> okay, here's the current situation. I just walked past um, the cram school that's like shares the top floor with the original Microsoft Bimbo's location. And for the first time, the entire time I've been here, it says uh, open and not closed. I mean, it's entirely possible. I walk up the stairs and there's a door on the left and the right. The right one is the cram school, the left one is Microsoft Bimbo's and that one is like closed and locked and shuttered. I kind of think that's the most likely thing, but we'll see.
I'm, I'm just gonna try going in. I've got a Google translation and a photo on my, on my phone. I don't know, I, this, I'm afraid. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I also, I'm already here. Why not go, why not go for it? See you on the other side. As I take my first few steps into the entrance of Microsoft Bimbo's, I feel overwhelmed, both by the enormity of the hallowed grounds on which I stood, and also by the feeling that I was, technically speaking, trespassing. As I approach the top of the stairs, I notice something. On the left, where there should be a door leading into Microsoft Bimbo's, there's no door. My heart begins pounding. Was Microsoft Bimbo's simply a liminal space? Maybe Microsoft Bimbo's was not a corporeal, earthbound, used PC parts store as we previously thought, but instead a living meme that sprung itself into existence? I wondered, had Microsoft Bimbo's ever existed? I reach the top and discover that on the back wall of this entryway hangs a cloth covering a dark hallway. I realize that in order to proceed further, I'll have to pick up and move a bunch of the cram school's belongings, something I really do not want to do. For a brief moment, I hesitate. But I'd come too far to stop now. As expected, the door leading into Microsoft Bimbo's itself was locked. So I look around for a bit. At this point, I notice a window above the door peering into Microsoft Bimbo's, allowing us to get our closest look ever at the inside of this place. Defeated, I sneak back out, leaving everything the way I found it, and get ready to depart. But then, I have one last idea. あ、すいません。え、オッケー。ありがとう。はい、バイ。バイバイ。ウォーターショット。You he had to go up this staircase and around that corner. Every customer at Microsoft Bimbo's ascended these stairs, <clears throat> which were locked last night. I thought I'd never stand where Mr. Bimbo's, where Michael Bimbo's once stood. Bimbo Gates. 
Whatever, that's a win. <laughs> I was really ready to go home just having maybe touched the building and maybe eaten at the izakaya. But I almost kind of sort of got in. Oh, it's this close, this close. I just grab a boulder. Well. All right, that's it for now. I'm gonna pack my stuff and head back to Tokyo. But Microsoft Bimbo's baby, we did it. We kind of did it. Last thing. So what you're seeing here is a collaboration between myself and Yamofe, where we took the photography I did on my trip to Microsoft Bimbo's and combined it with a new illustration by Nyamofe to make this like selfie that I've been printing on Instax film. I have no clue if anyone other than me is going to want these, but I thought it was a cute idea, so I'm doing it anyway. Um, I'm selling a few of these on my merch shop. There's not a ton of them because, frankly, I'm mailing these out myself and I don't want to bury myself in mail. But if you're interested in an autographed Instax of this Bimbo's Tan selfie in front of Microsoft Bimbo's, they're available alongside all my other new items at nickmer.ch. Huge thanks to Ian O'Brien for his editing work on this video. You might remember him as the guy who edited the Don't Know What Time It Is videos I did a few years back, the coin challenge. And a very special thanks to my channel members who make long form, high effort videos like this one possible. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.